Hey guys, I just got this bad boy in the mail. Uh, this is my Creality Ender 3. In this video, I guess I'll just um, get it out of the box, put it together, kind of let you know what I think about it. Just for context, I have a few Ender 2s. I think I've put together five now. And I have a Creality CR10. So I will be sort of comparing this Ender 3 to those. I got this during the pre-sale. I did have to wait. So it was a pre-sale, they said it would be about a month. And you know what, fair to them, it was about a month. I really appreciate the way that Creality um, do the typical Chinese oh, 15 to 25 day shipping on AliExpress and then it's always, they always ship by DHL and it gets to you in like four days. My camera just died there for a good five minutes. But anyway, yeah, I got some more stuff out of the box. I really like this, this new power supply. Interesting, this piece here is 3D printed. If you can see it in the reflection. If you look here on the power supply, it's 24 volts. It, it means the bed will get hotter quicker, but I think the fans won't be compatible then between like the end of two, but um, it's not a massive deal. They're pretty cheap from China. Okay, so we've got the base here. I really like it. It feels really solid already. But yeah, I like that the whole control box is down in the base. It's a nice big bed though. Whoa. There's a lot of wobble. <laughs> Do I have to, does it tell me to adjust that? Yeah, no, it doesn't say in the instructions, so. I guess I should do that now. Oh. There was one loose wheel nut and I think that's fixed on my bed issues. For some reason this thing's now wobbly. Great. Yeah, they've got the um, the big bed leveling knobs. So these were something that you could print for your CR10 or whatever. Um, but they've kind of just included these stock. I really like the design of this. It's really simple and, and easy to pull apart and replace the nozzle on, especially when you compare it to something like the Prusa. I have a Mark II S that killed itself. There'll be a video about that. Um, I'm gonna replace the whole head, but I'll tell the story of how it tried to kill itself. Yeah, I really appreciate just like this, the sheer simplicity of this. When you compare it to like a Prusa, right? They have, they, they 3D print, they try to 3D print all of their bits. And I think it kind of hinders the design because it, it makes it overcomplicated. Okay, I'm having this issue again. I had this issue with the last end of two I had. Basically means the Z rod, Z rod, is not straight. So where it's supposed to connect up here, it's out of place. You can't screw it in because it's just too bent out of place. Okay, so I figured out how to fix this issue with this uh, Z rod being off. Um, what I did was I stuck a little bit of cardboard stuff in this gap and so when you tighten down the screws that go that way, because basically what was happening was that this was tightening too much and being tilted over like towards that way and so if I put a bit of paper in there I could tighten it down enough. It's still probably not super tight but it's not going anywhere and yeah that's kind of fixed the issue and also at the top I had to loosen the nuts on here a little bit. Um, but they say that in the instruction. Okay, so I just came back from getting dinner. I stopped building for a second and I just noticed so this extruder It's 90 degrees off axis So yeah, I guess I'll just have to um, fix that Okay, so pretty much all put together now it's feeling nice and rigid. There is this slight wobble though. That's a little bit concerning Okay, update, the PTFE coupler thingamajig that goes, that screws into the extruder. Um, seems like the one that they had attached here doesn't work. It looks a little bit bent up, um, up close, and when you put the tube in and you get it in there nice and tight, it just comes straight out. So, um, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to using this one on one of my Ender 2s that I don't have the part for, but looks like I'm going to have to replace this one with the spare that they gave me. So yeah, if you see now, yeah, it's not coming out. When it comes to the screen and the control knob, you have to plug it in with this wire that comes from the main board. They tell you to screw it on. And then later on, they tell you to connect this to EXP3, which is, well, there's three ports. There's one, two, three ports here. And when it's on this angle, you can't tell where what's what. For reference, or anyone that doesn't want to unscrew theirs, it's the one that is closest to the hotbed. All right, I guess the only thing left now is to plug it in and see if she turns on. This is the moment of truth. 
Please no smoke. Please don't smoke. I've got it set right. I've got it. I've double checked. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, we're on. No smoke. Ooh. We've got test dog. That'll be interesting. And a bunch of software. So I'll get it all leveled and I'll run the test print. And yeah, I'll show you the test dog now. All right, it's the next day. Um, I did a test print. I printed the Creality dog that came on the SD card. It came out all right. There is some like pimpling on the surface, but it, it, it came out all right, I'd say. It's not the worst test print I've ever done. Um, so yeah, it's done, a, it's done a pretty good job there. I did have to switch. I, I was using the filament that came with the printer and then I had to switch to my own because we were running out. What do I think of this printer so far? It was pretty simple to put together, I'd say. It's got its quirks. Um, obviously mine did come from the factory with a few defects. I did have to replace the extruder fitting and the extruder, the entire extruder piece was 90 degrees off axis. So it's obviously their first time around making these machines and I think they will get better over time. And so far, yeah, it's, it's all pretty good. There is that slight wobble. I currently have one corner propped up with a some paper. Um, so yeah, mine did come with the wobble. Uh, I have tried taking these bottom pieces, I've unscrewed them and, and tried to rearrange it, but I just I can't seem to fix this wobble, so I think I'm just gonna have to permanently go with the paper under the corner. But yeah, it, it, overall I think it's a really feature-packed machine. It is a very budget printer, so for the amount that they've been able to pack into this, it's kind of amazing. It'll be interesting to see what Creality will bring out next, because this really does have most of the features. I guess soon they must start getting into magnetic beds and auto bed leveling and all that. But yeah, for the money, this is probably one of the best printers you can buy right now. If you have any questions about the Ender 3, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And yeah, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.